this is my one year review of my Suron. Now, a lot of you have watched my build videos, my comparison videos, and like my modification videos. And today I wanna just show you overall things I would have done differently if I started over. There is one thing that I really regret that I didn't do. And in case you forgot about my bike, because I don't show my bike that often, um, I've done a couple things since the video, since the build video. So since the video, I've changed the handlebars to a higher rise handlebar, the Berg Tech 50 mil uh, with the 38 millimeter clamp. Uh, and also I got new tires. Uh, these are the Shinko tires. So these are called the uh, Shinko F546. And also I've uh, rebuilt this fork because they're feeling a little stiff. Um, I usually rebuild my fork every year. Also on the back tire, I'm using the Shinko, the same tire as the front. Uh, they're okay, they're, the weight is good, um, the grip is good. I uh, have no complaints. The 52 teeth sprocket, I love it. And also, on my old video, I was running the RockShock Vivid Shock, but now I'm back on the stock shock. Guess why? Uh, I, it's broken. It's, uh, it's broken in two pieces. Uh, so I don't know <laughs> what I'm gonna do with that. Uh, I don't know if it was my fault or the way the bike is designed, but I'm just gonna I don't know yet. Uh, but anyway, I'm getting a new shock that's coming right now. It's been, I've been waiting for about four months and it's still not here. So I don't know when that's gonna happen. Uh, I've also, one of the grips fell off. The stock grips fell off. So I put the Sam Hill Nuke Proof Grips. I, I love these. These feel very similar to a motocross strip grip, but a little better. So yeah, I mean, that's what I've done to my bike so far. Uh, it's a very good setup. I love riding it. But now that I've been riding hard, uh, I've been riding pretty often, um, the paint on my frame has been coming off, which is really sad. Now, the first thing you notice is the paint on this part. This is where the knee uh, hits the frame. So when you're doing corners and stuff, you're, you grip with your knees and as you can see, uh, it's coming off. Because my bike is silver, it's not that obvious, but it is coming off. And also, if you wear motocross boots, this area will be destroyed, like right here. Yeah, that's, that's pretty sad to look at. Uh, also, because of the boots, this is scratched. Now we come around to the other side. The other side is actually okay. Like this part, the sticker's still there. This part's scuffed. Uh, this part scuffed. I, I don't think that's from the boot. I think that's from the rocks and stuff. Oh, I forgot to mention the race spec skid plate. These are awesome. They take all the hits, any hit that you can throw at it. And the race spec mudguard, they look kind of weird and funny, but they work, fi they work fine. And of course, the Magura brake calipers. Yes, they work super nice. Actually, the favorite part of uh, my bike is the brakes. It's, it's so good. Um, also, the battery cover. This is all scuffed from my legs. So this is a normal wear and tear that you would expect from owning a Sauron. I think this area, I could have prevented this with some clear uh, protective film. But this area, even with PPF, this would have happened anyway. Maybe you could have prevented this. So I know it's kind of late, but I want to make a, a protector that goes over the swing arm and the frame uh, to, pre to prevent even bigger damages. So I looked at some options for the protectors on the swing arm and the frame, and they are mad expensive. Or mad expensive, at least in my standard. There are some carbon fiber ones that you can buy, but you know, the, the carbon fiber ones look nice. But as soon as you put that on here, the carbon, the nice carbon fiber is going to be scratched up anyway. So I don't know, I was looking for something more simple and just that just does the job. And for my mountain bikes, I know that people use Kydex or Kydex or Kydex, Kydex material to make a DIY protector for their down tube. So I took that idea and got some Kydex. 
or KDEX, KYDEX, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, we're going to use these and try to make some protector or some kind of a scratch proof guard for the Sauron. Let's go. All right, I may look like I know what I'm doing here, but I've never done this. So I'm just going to give it a try and see how it goes. So don't make fun of me if I make a mistake. So first I want to get a cardboard and kind of see what kind of shape I need to cut the Kydax into. So I'll just bend the cardboard and with the shape drawn out, I'm going to cut it. All right, I have this rough shape of the swing arm and we're going to cut the Kydax. But I'm going to make this a little bigger than the actual shape so it can bend over the corners. Now the Kydax that I bought, it's very thin because I'm not trying to protect the frame from any impact. I'm just trying to protect it from scratches. So the next step is we're going to bend this Kydax with a heat gun. Um, we're going to apply very light heat uh, evenly and slowly so the material doesn't melt and just shape this into the swimming arm and hopefully it will work. All right, so the material is starting to bend, which is a good sign. Make sure to take your time with this because it's going to take a lot of patience. Uh, you're going to have to work one area by one area. It might get frustrating at times, but trust me, just do one by one and it will turn out fine. As the Kydax starts to take shape, cut off any excess material to get a clean fit. I won't show you the whole process because it took really long and I don't want to make you guys bored. Once you're happy with your protector, use a double-sided tape that's used for car emblems, the ones that are black inside. So the guard is on. I think the fitment's pretty good. It took me a while. But after I finished this one, I think uh, I know how to do it now. So we have a couple more Saurons back there. So I'm gonna make a few more, maybe one or two, and see if I can do better. But this looks really good. I'm happy. Let's see if I can do a better job on the next bikes. Because this bike really needs a frame guard. Now that I look at these guards, they look pretty good. And um, if I could go back to the day I bought my Sauron, I think this is the first thing I would have done to protect the paint on the frame. They're not super clean. They're not professional looking if you look at it really close. Uh, but from a distance, they look fantastic and they do the job that he needs to do, which is to protect the frame. Uh, the guards themselves don't need to look pretty because they're gonna get destroyed anyway. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. Um, so if you have the patience to, to make it, I think this is a great $5 modification to your bike. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you in the next video.